Hey guys, today you can call me Batman because we'll be using echolocation. Uh, just kidding, but sort of, not actually really though. Today we'll be using the ultrasonic sensor, which is basically a digital echolocation device when explained out how it works. It sends out an ultrasonic pulse on a command and then measures the time it takes for that pulse to then return using the known speed of sound. In other words, it's quite literally a digital echolocation device. So I didn't sort of lied. So to start, we're going to need some garlic, some silver bullets, and some holy symbolic items like a cross. Then we will throw them all away because luckily it's daytime and vampires don't come out in sunlight in case we were to accidentally send out a bat mating call. Later. Next, let's reference the wiring diagram below on and on screen. Again, pause if needed. We will be supplying, obviously, VCC with 5 volts, ground with ground. Those are the standards. And we'll be using pin 13 in our case as the trigger pin, and pin 12 is our echo pin. So what does that mean when we're saying trigger and echo in this case? Well, remember, in echolocation, you have to send a sound out then you have to like measure in when it returns. So pin 13 will be sending out a signal. So on that one, we'll say shoot out an ultrasonic sound. And then on pin 12, the echo pin will be listening for the echo or as we'll try to see when it returns and we'll be reading and try to say, when is that signal going to come back? And that's basically the difference between the uh, two different pins. All right, so let's upload the code provided onto our board and then use the serial monitor to test to see how this works. I'm going. Wow, seriously, is that accurate? Okay, so the code that we have here is, it does as follows. So I'm gonna take, so I got this breadboard here, right? I'm just gonna like, oh, wow. As I move it close, two inches, one inches, one centimeter and I can go flop, all the way up to seven inches. Is that the max limit of it or is it just because something like the webcam is blocking it? Let me, let me, end, let me do this real quick. Interesting. Oh, it is. It was the webcam that was blocking it. Look at that. That's really neat. As you can tell, this is my first time running the code. So if I take this breadboard here and I put it here, it says it's a centimeter away. It's very close. Four inches, five inches, six inches, seven inches, wee, all the way up, and I pull it all the way, and it's probably hitting the wall. And the back thing here looks like it might be 66, 65 inches away. I don't know how accurate that is, but uh, it did seem like it was fairly accurate based on like putting my hand up and close to it. So that's really interesting. And yeah, that's how it works. It sends out an ultra ultrasonic signal through this pin sends it out and then measures when it comes back through the echo pin and uh, it's able to accurately using the speed of sound as a measurement tell how far or close something is away that's pretty neat so some cool project ideas i've seen that have been using these in uh i saw one where it was using this in tandem with a small servo motor that kind of like searched back and forth and made sort of a radar that scanned left and right and uh, actually puts on a little map or graph on the uh, Arduino IDE, um, like where things are located is like legitimately like a radar. And I thought that was really, really neat. There's another one I saw that was, you can make a speedometer obviously, cause if you can tell how far something away is and then you can calculate over time, you can then say, oh, you know, these gosh darn teenagers speeding around the neighborhood again, I caught you now. Or uh, there might be some more um, that we might list down below, but there are a ton of different, obviously, possibilities when given distance into effect. And this is a very, very, very useful sensor um, for that. So that should be just about it for the ultrasonic echolocation sensor. Thank you.